sequels and all sorts of media is awesome. And to give you an example, my last video was garbage. <laughs> I didn't mean it to be garbage. I put a lot of work into it and I thought the jokes were pretty good, but uh, it just kind of turned out that way. The explanation of the main point of the video was flawed and confusing. I kind of just went off the notion that you knew what I was talking about and even then like some of the points I made were kind of weird. I randomly talked about fan games for no reason, not leading in any point, and overall the video just blew. But the fun thing about games is if you don't nail it the first time, you can still try it again the second time. And for me, that's this video, so you know, I'm try kinda trying here. And most of the time, video game creators do learn from their past experiences. Most of the time. There's a reason nobody talks about Team Fortress 1, or the Cha-Cha Slide is just the Casper Slide Part 2, and frankly, I still don't know what the Casper Slide Part 1 is. Like, whose favorite Mario Party is Mario Party 1? <laughs> no, it's all about Mario Party 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. Why are there so many Mario Parties? We don't need this many. And nobody likes 10. I was just using that for the joke, okay? Gosh. I finally decided to play all the Paper Mario games before the release of the Origami King, and right now, I'm on the Thousand Year Door. And frankly, I loved how they changed the formula. First, I just thought Thousand Year Door was more of Paper Mario, but like, with better partners and story. And that's why, like, nobody likes Paper Mario 64 as much. Which isn't true. There's a bunch of people that that prefer Paper Mario 64, and I find that completely valid. A Thousand Year Door is a completely different game. It's crazy. And don't get me wrong, it's still fantastic. I, I loved it probably more than the original Paper Mario. Don't at me. Like, originally, I thought that gimmicks were stupid and Paper Mario should never have any gimmicks at all because I'm a whiny baby man. But that's not true. They did it perfectly. I mean, you can become a paper airplane, a paper boat. You can probably become, like, what, divorce papers at some point. I don't know. Should I keep that joke in? Um, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, otherwise known as God's Mistake, is... And if you haven't heard the story of Rareware, I'll give you an abridged version. But please, I'll link some videos to the whole story. It's very interesting, actually, um, in the description. For real this time, I'm not going to forget again. Basically, it's the year 2000, and Rareware has finally finished their two main uh, blockbuster games. That's four. Two main blockbuster games. Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, the sequel. And they're both fantastic, alright? They're wonderful beautiful love letters to the entire platforming genre. Probably, I need to consume more video games. And everybody was waiting for Banjo 3. See at the end of 2 we where Gruntilda's all like, ah, you beat me. I'll see you again at Banjo 3. Peace out. And she just like, boinks, leaves. So we're all like, it's gonna happen, guys. And then, Space World 2000. We get a teaser. And I'm just, I'm just gonna play the clip. <laughs> Now, I really want you to inspect that, you know, look at every hexadecimal color code on every pixel, all right? And you might just be able to make out that there are no cars in this teaser. And some of you may be like, of course no cars, what are you, what are you talking about? What's the dumbest Banjo Kazooie, Baron Bird, uh, 7-Eleven combo, you know, Baron Bird. There's no F-150s, all right? What are you talking about? Now, the Banjo Kazooie cinematic universe has never included any sort of cars at all, ever. That's why their games are so popular. There's no banjo cart, there's banjo pilot. Much better game, Mwah. beautiful. Cars are for little babies, little Mario and DK racing around. Oh, Kirby's there, oh that's cool, don't. No. So we're all excited, you know? It's the next big banjo game. There's not even any cars, so what could go wrong? You, you catch my drift here. Car pun not intended at all. And then Microsoft jumps out of nowhere and is like, hey Rare, you, you want $375 uh, million? <laughs> Sick, dog. Okay, well just come come make games for us instead of a little greedy little baby Nintendo. And then he just, they just left, they're gone. <laughs> but don't worry you guys, Rare owns Banjo-Kazooie, it's not a Nintendo property, we're fine. <laughs> what possible thing could go wrong? So then we wait a year, and another year. And another year, 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 and
We've given up hope. There's no way Banjo Kazoo is coming back. Clearly, they had some development issues or something, or maybe Nintendo. Like, we don't know, but they just didn't want to make it. So why is this former platformer, mind you, now a Lego car game eight years later on the Xbox 360? I do not know. And by the way, it sounded like this was some indie random game. It was a critical and financial success. All right, everybody loved this game even on its release, okay? It was perfectly reasonable to make a sequel with the same platformer style, and they probably would have made a boatload of money off it. Bolo bolo cash. I mean, sure, they made some good games on the Xbox 360, like Grab by the Ghoulies or. Whatever, I think that's the only one. <laughs> but this isn't Grab by the Ghoulies, a full documentary, all right? It's about sequels, gosh. So why cars? No car media has ever been good. You can't tell me with a straight face that Pixar's Cars 1 through 3 is okay. It's not, they're not good. To be fair, Cars 1, that's pretty good. Cars 2, mm -mm, no. <laughs> Jeez, I'm the king of going off on tangents. But fine, what if Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts is still a good game? I mean, like, even if it's not a Banjo game, that doesn't mean that it's not a good game. Case in point, Color Splash. I mean, that, that game's loved by some people for some reason. But it's not a good game at all. It's, the lands are barren and confusing, and the car physics and... I haven't played it, obviously. I don't have an Xbox 360. But I'm just gonna go off other people's opinions that it's bad. Just ride the coattails of their success. Now, the most interesting and well known bad sequels is the entirety of Sonic the Hedgehog. Which, the first three games are good, and CD is not as good. Actually, scratch that, CD is garbage. But, Adventure 1 and 2 pretty good. My Funyun rings! I'm taking them back! And then down to bad. <laughs> what? Go back up. Back down to bad. <laughs> but then, there's new Super Mario Bros. Why? I guess we'll take you back to like what? 2006. <laughs> The game was praised upon its release. It was an exciting new direction to take the Mario Bros. series. And people were ecstatic to see what the next 2D Mario was gonna hold. Oh, that's, that's actually really cool. You know, it's uh, it's new Super Mario Bros. Wii. That's um, that's like, this is, this, it's the same game, kind of, you know, new levels and stuff. It's just a fun little time filler. And, and there's, uh, real-time multiplayer that's a lot of fun so really of course this game had to exist it's a lot of fun it sold crazy I'm glad they made it oh okay yeah no new Super Mario Bros 2 I mean it's it's on the uh, it's on the 3ds so really I mean it's not like it's the next big blockster big blockbuster hit or anything so really it doesn't even matter but hey the Wii U came out it's got HD graphics so I'm sure the first HD Mario game on a brand new console is going to be wonderful it's going to drive the sale two in one year and it's basically the same game four four times why okay so now with the switch I mean, it's 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 a new generation. Nintendo's learned. We got a new big uh, big 3D Mario game. So of course they're gonna ever, you know go again with an art. God bless you, Nintendo. Thank you so much for making the same game five times and over the course of 13 years, which is roughly the same amount of time as alcohol prohibition. At least we got a, a good 3D Mario, right? And not to say that these games aren't like a load of fun because it really they really are but it's just the same game over and over i feel like we're done talking about sequels for now um thank you so much for watching my video and wait wait wait, wait, wait. no 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 no! i can talk about paper mario bye